Hello everyone, today I'm going to tell you how to significantly improve your life using OBS Studio. We can add videos, pictures or graphics to our ATEM Mini. Let's go! First, we need to download OBS Studio, the latest version. At this moment it's 28.1.2. I'm using PC, so I'm gonna install the Windows version on my PC. I recommend you to choose a standard place for installation, because we will add additional files to it in the future. When installation is complete, we can launch our OBS Studio and meet the new interface. I like it even more than previous one. Let me know in the comments which one do you like more. First thing which we need to do is to check our settings in Atom Control software and see our settings for our ATEM Mini. So in our case we have video standard to 1080p 24 frames per second. We moving back to our OBS Studio and we need to match our settings. Let's choose settings and we interesting in the top video. Here we have the resolutions. So this resolution have to be the same with your source. So in my case it's 1080. Let's change it. And we just wanna be sure that we have the same frame rate, so in our case it's 24 frames per second. Format and TSC. Click apply and OK. Our OBS settings is the same as the project in 18 Mini. Now we can move on. Next we connect our laptop or PC to one of the 18 Mini inputs via an HDMI cable. I use input number 4, since I leave the first 3 inputs for connecting the main cameras. Now we can return to our OBS Studio and we need to press right click on the screen, choose full screen projector and choose our black magic HDMI output. It means that the images from OBS Studio will be directed to our ATEM Mini. Right now we can meet our interface. We interesting in four main tabs here. It's scene transitions, audio mixer, sources and scenes. I will start from the end to the beginning for better understanding. In scene transitions, we can choose the type of our transition, cut, fade, or you can choose a few more effects right here, but I prefer to use cut. Anyway, I will create a two small scenes for you, just to show you how it works. Scene 1, the first image. And second scene with an hour image. As you can see, we don't have a full view screen, so let's adjust our image size. And right now, we can change this in transition to fade and I will leave the duration around 1500 milliseconds and when I change this scene our transitions is working and we can see what one image slowly fade in into an hour. But I prefer to keep simple cut because I want to get the fast response from the program. The second type is audio mixer and we interested in this type only if we plan to use audio sources or sound effects, but for now it's just enough for you to know what you can adjust the volume of each audio source right here or you can mute it or unmute it. And remember about the fact that if you using any audio sources or desktop audio it can go live. We move on to most important tabs in OBS Studio program, its scenes and sources. In sources we can put all media what we would like to show in our scene. In these scenes we just group our sources in one scene and we can simply switch between them. Let's create a couple of scenes so you can see what I'm talking about. First scene I will call opener and I would like to add media source. In my case it will be animation start. Here you can name it as you wish and also add existing source if you edited something before. And I'm just wanna be sure what my source will be visible. Press OK. I'm choosing local file on my PC. And I will use the following settings. Loop off, 
restart playing when source becomes active on, hardware decoding off, show nothing when playback ends off because I would like to see a last frame of our animation when it's completed. And here you can adjust the speed of your media source but I will keep it by default and press ok. You can see what our animations starts right away and if we will make it invisible it disappears but when we make it visible it will start playing again from beginning. You can see that it appears in our 80 mini. To show this animation live we just need to make it visible in OBS Studio and switch our input source on 80 mini. The second scene will be more interesting for you because it will have a few layers and I will call it sponsors. For the first layer I would like to add a nice animated background. Let's add new media sources and you can see here that I also can add previous animations which I was used but I don't need it right now so I will call it background. I'm just want to be sure that my source will be visible and press ok. Again choosing the local file, browse it and choose background animation which I prepared. After that I would like to keep it loop. I would like to start the animation when the source will becomes active. I don't need hardware. I will keep the rest settings by default, press ok. And you can see what our animation starts playing. So in this case we get a nice animated background. I also would like to add a new source with our sponsors video. Let's call it video number 1. Make it visible, local file and I would like to add our file. We don't need to keep it low because it's a really huge file and we just need to play it from beginning to the end. And I would like to start it again when the source becomes visible. We don't need to use hardware decoding. And I would like to see a last frame when the plane is completed. The rest settings I will keep by default. Press OK. And you can see that our video appears on our screen. I just want to change its position and size a little bit. And put it on the right side of our screen. Looks nice. Right now I would like to add sponsor's logo on the left side. Let's add our image. But instead of one image I would like to put few of them in one place. So I will use slideshow. Call it logos. Let's see what kind of settings do we have here. Visibility. I would like to stop playing the logos and restart them when the source become visible. Slide mode. I will choose automatic because I don't want to control it. Transition type. I would like to keep on fade. Time between slides I will keep around 4500. I will choose 1500 milliseconds for transition speed. Keep it loop because we would like to see playing our logos during the whole animation. As for the aspect ratio I would choose a standard 16 by 9 and let's add a few logos which I prepared for. Our source with logos is too big, so let's just change the size of it. As you can see, we play automatically. And lastly, I would like to add name sponsors right here, so people can understand what kind of pictures is it. Let's add our text and call it name sponsor. I would like to change our font to Tahoma and also the sizes. 256 it's, it's fine for me. Our text is gonna be our sponsors. And you have a couple of more settings here but I will keep it by default right now. It looks too big a little bit so I just wanna change the size of our title and just change it position a little bit so it can be right above our logos. As you can see, our animation is ready. We have a logos here, a video and title with nice background animation. Our video has an audio track, so you can see what it plays and it goes live. So if you don't wanna put it live, you just need to mute it. Secondly, you need to remember what the OBS Studio works by layers from the top to the end. So it means if I will move our background on the top of all layers, we won't see our source. Just remember about it when you plan to add a few sources at one scene. Right now we can simply change our scene and see what we have. 
For example, we can put our opener in the beginning of our live streaming and show our sponsors somewhere in the middle. And don't forget to switch your inputs in 18 mini. So today I show you how to add graphics to your life using OBS Studio. I hope you like this video, subscribe to our channel if you would like to see more videos on this topic. And see you in the next video. Bye!